an ancient trail with numerous branches, a pleasant stroll in the forest, and we get lost in the wild. This is John and Fern. So welcome to the next episode, George. Yeah, uh, we're here in Songzhen. Oh, oh, oh. Watch out, watch out. Are, are, you here? are you bringing me here for some uh, roasted goose? This is a roasted goose capital, a uh, little village where we're starting an ancient trail recommended yeah. by... By Robert Van Norwick. By Robert Van Norwick, thank you. And uh, it's going to be about 11 kilometers, I think, today. Yeah. Uh, a short trail because it's burning hot today. Yeah. But this has got a little bit of history to it as well. So, um, and one that we haven't done um, should be a great day. Beautiful weather, let's go. In this series of Journey Fern, we're hiking your hike. Over the past five years, we have covered the more than 50 Hong Kong hikes, but there are lots more hidden gems that we need you to help us find. So if you know a great hike on our map, please let us know with a comment down below. In this episode, we take on the Yunchun Ancient Trail starting the hike at Samzhen village. The trail was the major route that connected the villages of Yunnan and Chunwan in the past. It was a vital link for villages in the new territories to bring goods between the two major markets in the area. After Castle Peak Road was built, the path became redundant but has recently been revived into a country trail. Just a few minutes into the hike and we are lost. Warning, this video contains footage of two amateur hikers getting lost. A lot. Parental guidance is advised. So we're coming through a myriad of different paths and George is just telling me he's finding the direction by feel. He has no idea where he's going, he doesn't have a map in his hand, but he's telling me with confidence it's this way. Uh, Google time. It's easy to lose your direction on this trail as there are many branches to this ancient trail. Better to plan a route in advance rather than just showing up with the hope of following signs as we did. It's hot and DJ is starting to show his frustration. So just a quick warning for people who are out hiking at this time of year. When the weather changes, if you come from a place which has seasons like we do in Hong Kong and it starts to get very hot, this is the most dangerous time to hike as your body is not used to being out in these kind of heat. It takes a bit of time. So I would suggest as we are doing is reduce the length of the hikes that you're doing. Wear a hat. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Sunglasses is not gonna protect you from the heat. And sunscreen as well. We don't have hats today, but we should do well. Wow, look at this view out here. This is really quite spectacular. Sunglasses may not protect you from the heat, but at least it completes my load. Yeah. And when you compare to my Google map, and you see we're on the right track. Science! Let's go. No, let's go this Oh, we're not going that way. Yeah. We're still on the right track, but going in the wrong direction. We followed the path to a junction to Dai Lam and Chun Wan, then joined the Manly Host Trail Session 10 towards Tim Fu Zai and cut back to the Yunchun Ancient Trail. So I'm right, George, and you're wrong. It's clear from where we are. Are you sure you're right? Oh my god, where are we? <laughs> this is this is uh, after two hours walk we're we came back to the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> and then like five minutes ago you keep saying how right you are, how wrong I am. <laughs> I thought I'd figured it out but we're actually back exactly in the same place where we were about two hours ago. <laughs> We've just done a big loop. Ah. Yes we did. At this point DJ finally realized he was leading me around in circles but I don't blame him. Ah. We followed the Sum Dancing Python session down back towards the coast. It was still a pleasant stroll as we passed a secluded farm and joined a path back to Sum Dan village. There's a bit of deja vu going on today, more than one way. We are arriving back to Sum <laughs> To the same place we started, which was not our plan. Anyway, how's the day been for you? A great high, some concrete path. <laughs> yeah. It's been an interesting hike. It's not been the most scenic of hikes. We've been 
in yeah, the forest. Sure. Parts of it very beautiful along some ancient trails, but also a lot of it very similar. We've done now 13.6 kilometers, so probably about 14 by the time we finished. Yeah. So reasonably good day. It's been a beautiful weather. Yeah. Uh, quick shout out to Carlos. Thank you for a sponsor. We love using your stuff. He loves your new shoes too. Also yeah. remember, if you can subscribe to us uh, or like us on wherever you're watching this page, this is going to help us a lot in growing our channels and growing our audience. It also means you get to watch all of our shows when they come out. But for now, my name's DJ Clark. And I'm George. And this is Drone, Drone and Phone. Of course, I'm blaming it all on George, who didn't do his research properly uh, before we set off. He may, of course, have a different point of view, George. You will see when you, when you see the edited video. So if you're watching this in the edited video and it has any blame on me, I've got to say at this point, purely in the edit, There's fake news. Lie.